to be honest, I never expected to be. You guys, you are fans. You're not the millions who view. You're fans. You like it. We like to be in it. But for 90% of the viewing audience, it would be confusing. Why are these old men <laughs> pretending that they look like what they did 30 years ago, 40 years ago? And why is the storyline contorted to accommodate them? It would be very, very difficult to do a believable story without putting in stuff about, gosh, she has been aged by the warping of time. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Um, I, can, I never expected them to do it, and we are not lying to you. All I can tell you is that neither Peter, nor I, nor Sylvester, nor Paul, I don't know about Tom, I've spoken to him, but I suspect not Tom either, because he's even older than me. <laughs> um, I'm in it. I got a David Tennant in it with Matt Smith, and that's it. There may be other surprises, but I really don't know. Um, and I, in a way, I'm relieved because the one time someone did try to do a multi doctor story it was in, oh, when was it, 1989, something like that? 93, oh well, that shows what a lot of time I am. <laughs> Somebody wrote a script and took it to BBC Worldwide, no, it was called Enterprises then, and they approached us all and asked us if we wanted to do the story. And I was working with John Pertwee, um, Sylvester McCoy, and Peter Davison at the time. And we all got the script on the same day. And we were filming, uh, remember those stranger things that came out? We were filming a kind of low budget thing together, which was great fun. Thank you. Um, and we all said, this is ridiculous. It was a story basically for Tom Baker. And they had four page scenes where each of us got trapped in some vortex. And I had a, a, a scene with, Peter had a scene with the Cybermen, railing at the Cybermen. I can't remember what mine was now. It was just, it was a peripheral to the story. And we all said, no, we're not doing that. Because it was a story to be written, and then they pegged doctors into it. And for us to reprise our roles, it needed to be a proper good story. And they knew that Tom would not be wooed back unless he was, you know, heavily favoured. Um, uh, so, but then someone at the BBC came back from holiday and said, what's going on here? I haven't authorised this, and it was cancelled. So we didn't have to make a decision on it, but uh, it, it wasn't very good. So I, I suppose it is possible. Of course, Big Finish have done a story. Light at the end. Light at the end, which comes out in November, which is very, very good indeed. Uh, it's much easier to do on audio because you know I'm quite young and curly hair. <laughs> my, thank goodness my voice hasn't changed yet, and that's what's so super about the Big Finish audios. We all look the same, the monsters are really scary. If someone says, that's the most beautiful girl I have ever seen in my life, each one of you will have a different picture, and each one of you is right. Whereas on television, someone says, that's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life, and the camera does that, and 90% of the audience go, she's not all that. <laughs>